it's another Monday in the summer, which can only mean one thing, another iOS 11 beta update. Has that made any changes to the screen recorder? Let's find out. And no, they've not changed anything. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal, and if you're not sure what I do on this channel, I mainly focus on iOS screen recorders. And in particular, over the last few months, we've all been getting very excited about the built-in screen recorder for iOS 11, which is currently in the beta phase. Now I've covered every single beta so far, so you can check my playlist for more information about those changes, features, functionality. But for this latest one, iOS Beta 8, developer beta release, there doesn't look as if there's been any changes whatsoever. It was a small download at 60 megabytes, and I've got listed here all the current things that are in there, such as bugs and features and whatnot, so take a look there. So with that being said, let's move on to the future of iOS 11 and screen recorders. What do we have to look forward to in the next month? Apple tend to have a set routine for the second half of the year, and it goes along the lines of this. Usually in the middle or beginning of September, they will unveil their new products, usually an iPhone, possibly iPads, iWatches, and at the same time, they will announce iOS whatever version they're up to. In this case, it's going to be 11. About a week after that, the iOS latest version is usually released to all users, and then two or three weeks after that, they launch their new iPhone product. So what we're looking at here is the end game in terms of iOS 11 beta releases. We're probably around about three weeks away now. News reports suggest that Apple will be announcing their new products on Tuesday, September the 12th, with the iPhone being launched on September the 22nd. Now that will change depending on which news outlet you read, but September is pretty much where we're looking at for all of this to come to fruition. Now, if you want to pin me down on a release date for iOS 11, if we are to assume that the iPhone 8 will come pre-installed with iOS 11 on September the 22nd, we just move it towards the beginning of that week, which would be September the 18th or 19th. If I'm wrong, you can flame me in the comments. So let's say, for example, you're going to wait for the official iOS 11 release and then update your device to iOS 11 solely for the screen recorder, should you do that, well, my advice right now is still no. There are one or two bugs with the recorder, especially when it comes to recording uh, microphone audio, which Airshow still does a lot better. And of course, once you upgrade to iOS 11, you're killing all the other screen recorders which currently don't work on iOS 11 or very poorly. And you're going to have to rely on this internal screen recorder, which still has one or two bugs. And I'm not sure with the time Apple have left, they're going to see the screen recorder as a priority. I don't think, from my memory, they've actually made any changes to the screen recorder since beta 5, which was three or four weeks ago. So whether they're gonna look at that in the next couple of weeks, I certainly hope so, but it's not a high priority I wouldn't imagine for the developers right now. There is also the side question of whether Apple will allow third-party screen recorders onto the App Store since they have their own. But there are a lot of unknown questions about that, whether they would work with iOS 10 and iOS 9 if they don't. I would be very surprised if we see those applications on the App Store. And Apple has had such a bee in their bonnet about screen recorders in the past, it would be a big turnaround to suddenly allow it. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm not optimistic on that front either. But if you have a different opinion, no more information, or have anything to say about the iOS 11 beta screen recorder, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. Enjoy the rest of your tech day, and you never drill. Bye for now.